The recent update to OpenFleet has several changes that I thought I'd take you through in a video. The first of these is in the running sheet where if we drag a booking, you'll notice that vertical bars indicate where we can and cannot drag the booking. But if we hold down control key, we can now drag horizontally as well. And I release the control key and save the booking and you'll see it's moved to a different spot. The other thing we can do is extend the booking. So I can hold the mouse over the start or the end of the booking and drag and release and it will extend the length of the time of that booking. The other big change, the little button that's up here that says to do list. And you'll notice if I click that, it opens a to do list. If I click the little button here, we can see a few more details about things on that list. Now you'll notice we have a number three above the little tick. That means there are three unread tasks on the to do list. If I want that number to show all of the tasks that are on the to do list, I can click this little cog and it will open the to do preferences and say count all tasks and click OK. And now that changes to six because there are six, six tasks there. If I put it back to count only the unread tasks, I can click OK and we're back to three. If I want to mark a task as read, I can either double click to open it or I can just simply click it once and mark it as read. And we've got that number back down to two. Now I can open the task to have a look at what the task is in depth and I double click on it to do that and the task will come up. We can put in a task, a description. We can allocate it to a vehicle if it pertains to a vehicle and we can even give it a, a date due and a priority. Date created is automatically the date the task was created and here we can assign it to somebody. So if you want to create a task and assign it to, to someone, you can just put it in there and when you save it, it will go to that person that you've assigned it to and it will come up automatically as unread in their task list. We can also set a reminder in there to set to remind us and we can mark it as completed with a date completed. If the task is no longer valid or current and we need to cancel it, we just put a tick here and click save. So for the moment, we'll just close that. The other thing we can do is you'll notice we have what looks like a hyperlink and if we click on that, it will open that vehicle. So we can do whatever we needed to do to that vehicle. The other button here we have is a manage all tasks and this manage all button only shows for administrators, only shows for administrators of the system. If I click manage all, we get to see all of the tasks in the organization that are assigned to everybody that are currently open. And this is beneficial if, for example, someone calls up and says uh, they can't come in for a week because they're not well. And you can go in and look at anyone's tasks and reassign them to other people. Or if you need to do them yourself, you can mark them as completed here. You can, of course, uh, double click and we'll open the task um, and you can alter whatever you need to alter. And there are new reports and these are in the to-do section. And again, these are only for administrators. So you can open all to-dos, just the completed ones, to-dos by creation date and the ones that were canceled. We'll just open all of them and there's a report that we can see all of the to-dos within the organization. I hope you like these changes. Um, thanks for watching.